Well, TV ads for candidates vying for New Mexico's governor position have taken over the airways. We've all seen them. And more often than not, the two candidates are attacking each other. Is the negative tone putting voters off? Action 7 News reporter Megan Cruz sat down with KOAT's political analyst. You know the names, you've seen the TV ads. KOAT's political analyst Brian Sanderoff says this gubernatorial race got dirty quick. Just a few days after the primary ended in June, the governor started negative ads against Gary King. Gary King voted for the largest tax increase in state history. Higher taxes on food, medicine, and gas. And a few days later, he followed suit. First ad of the campaign, and Martinez is attacking Gary King. She's attacking to cover up New Mexico being named the second worst run state in America. Now halfway into this race, Sandoroff has a warning for Governor Susana Martinez and Attorney General Gary King. Most voters recognize that these negative ads have a lot of spin in them. And most voters tell us that they hate the negative ads. And Sandoroff says if they keep playing these ads too often, voters are just going to start turning off the TV. Instead, he says voters want to hear issues hashed out during debates. I think the voters like them, and in recent years we've seen a lot of voters pay attention to this debate. Problem is... Typically the candidate who's ahead wants to avoid risk. Megan Cruz, KOAT Action 7 News. Governor Martinez and Gary King will participate in a KOAT Albuquerque Journal poll on Sunday, October 19th. And who is ahead? Sandoroff conducted a poll in conjunction with our partners at the Albuquerque Journal. They asked 600 likely voters this question. If the election were today, who would you vote for, Martinez or King? For the results of that poll, pick up tomorrow's Albuquerque Journal.